Exercise 15, Evasive Defense. The main skill involves moving your body to make room for a controlled shot while under pressure. The main purpose of this drill is to be able to control your main defensive weak spot, your racket shoulder. These techniques will give you a lot of options when you're under pressure, whether it's a cross-court block on your forehand or a straight drive on your backhand. The key positions to master first involve shifting your torso to make room for the ball. When you do so, you want to tuck in your elbow to get your racket back very quickly. It's very helpful to have a wide stance and also to take a step back when you need to. You can also practice a bit of variation by hitting a different shot, by hitting a backhand on your forehand side. So here, instead of turning and hitting the forehand behind you, you'd be getting your elbow in quickly and hitting a backhand on your forehand side. This is really useful if you're anticipating the shot to come there and you want to hit a hard drive back. The hitting pattern is quite simple. First, start by hitting some basic shots and then hit hard and upwards towards one of your shoulders. Right after you hit that harder shot, you'll be forced to get out of the way to make room for the shot or you're going to be forced to quickly intercept it and block it back. To make this drill harder, you can of course hit a lot harder, you can get much lower to the ground, and you can use a bouncier hex ball like the number one. If you stand closer to the wall too, this will give you a lot less time to react, and probably more distance to cover to track the ball and to hit it back. To make this drill easier, stand a little bit further away from the wall, and then try to really anticipate the movements. If you can just nail those positions to get into to pop it back, you'll be okay. Also, it's good to realize that you have a lot more time to hit these shots. If you really feel like you don't, then use a number two hex ball which will go a little bit slower.